Oh, oh my god! Holy heck! What in the- Oh, jeez. Just got spooked right there. And we kind of boost her. Oh my god, there it is again. Oh, jeez. Anyways, uh... <laughs> welcome back, you guys. I'm here by the volcano. I was hearing that sound. I was wondering what that was before I... Properly introduced myself back. But we got the heckin' whatever that thing is. I think you guys were commenting its name. So we're like the letter C or something like that. We still haven't actually scanned it. But yeah, down here is the, uh... The dormant volcano. I do want to look around here and see if I can find anything. I know whenever I came over here, I think it's diamond. I think we have a few diamonds. I don't know if I need that. Uh, but whenever I came over here just a second ago, I saw this giant thing of crystal. Definitely want to mine that with our prawn suit. And, oh, gosh. Running into stuff all over the place. Uh, oh, man. There's another one right there. And then there's titanium. So I don't think we need the titanium. Oh, oh, my gosh. Is it here again? Oh, my gosh. Stay the heck away. Golly. Seems like that does help out a little bit to keep them away from us. So that's good. Now, uh, where in the world was I? Oh, oh. Man, yeah, there are a lot of, like, giant quartz around here. There's one, two, the third back, uh, that's titanium. I think there's that third back there somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of these big things of, uh, uh, what do you call this, quartz here. So, yeah, definitely want to mine this up. And, hey, if we find any around here that are maybe, like, diamond or something like that, because we saw that in the mine area, then, hey, I'll, I'll definitely mine that up. Oh, man, speaking of such, what's that? I think that's copper right there. Yeah, that's a big old thing of copper right there. Nice. I might actually pick that up. Anything else around here that might be of value? Before I actually park this thing and, of course, let my uh, prawn suit out. I think I'll just park it about right here. There you go, get out of that. And we'll go to the back. Oh, yeah, and then we have this here. I forgot about this. Let's go to the back. If I can, where am I stuck? I think I parked at a weird angle and I can't... Yep! There you go. <laughs> All right, how do I uh, eject dog vehicle? I guess I have to do it this way. All right. Now, I don't know how the inventory of this is. Did we empty it? I think we did, didn't we? Not really. I still have a lot of shrub nuts in my inventory. Ah, you know what? I can put up a couple. Uh, yeah, we can't really, uh, because it's going to be drilling that up. Guess I'll eat those shrub nuts. Blip, 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 blip. There you go. Just cl clean out my inventory a little bit. But, uh, let's see. How do I... That's the wrong one. Okay, so here's the drill. So let's go drill these real quick. I don't know where that, uh, big creature is. And right there's Mar... Oh, yeah. See, look at how close we are to Margaret's Greenhouse. It's crazy. There's the, uh, the cord... Or, uh, the copper. Here's the quartz right here. SiO4 silica bar, silica in crystalline form. All right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That grabs it right there automatically. So that's good. I thought I had to manually grab it there, but uh, I guess we should have to kind of walk into it whenever we mine them. Yep. There you go. Of course, added the vehicle storage. We have. I think we had zero quartz inside of this thing beforehand. I need. Oh, oh yeah. And then I need to fix the uh, the pin stuff there at the top, just because we already made the jukebox and the glass dome thing right there. We'll hopefully be able to make here pretty soon. Especially after all this heck of glass that we're getting here, right? Because <laughs> we do need a lot of quartz. I think that was one of the things we were missing. I think we have only one uh, enamel glass at home. Uh, lithium, I think that's another thing we were missing. Hopefully we can find a pretty good amount of that during this little resource haul, if you want to call it that. What is that? I don't know what that is. I guess we can grab some more quartz here. Then maybe I'll go grab that copper as well. And uh, I, I don't... I'm like, I, I guess we can go down into the volcano just to see if there's any of that magnetite there. But I'm pretty sure we've been down there before and we didn't see anything except for like maybe diamonds and... Uh, I think there was gold there randomly and titanium. So I'm like, while we're here, it definitely wouldn't hurt to at least go check. But uh, for right now, let me keep drilling these giant things of quartz. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Uh, I'll also do the same thing with that uh, copper over there. These two quartz ones and then one, that one copper over there. And I think we'll be good to go. So let me just keep drilling these real quick. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, back. Just filled up uh, my inventory up with a bunch of those like flowering spores or whatever. And uh, I guess we'll just jump down with this thing. We do have that one boost thing for the uh, for this thing. And I think we took it down here initially anyways, right? So it shouldn't be that hard to get out of here. I do want to... That's lithium. Yeah, we do need lithium. I know a lot of lithium spawns near our base as well. Oh, wow. Even more lithium here. Don't mind if I can do, right? Uh, I kind of want to get a flashlight out just so we can see a little bit easier. Uh, habitat builder, we don't need that right now. So uh, here we go. So that's diamonds there. We don't really need it, but I'll grab it, I guess. There you go. Especially because we're going to be using four for the uh, enamel glass of the... Uh... Oh, man, my inventory is full now. I'm like, I don't even... How, how many of these flowering spores do I really need? Especially near our base. Uh, we already had... That, that, that cotton... What was it called? Cotton anemone or whatever? That area is, like, right under our base. So I'm like, if we need more of those things, we just go right under our base and we can grab more of them, right? It's not really that big of a deal, but... The thing about the magnetite... Oh, yeah, we could do this. The thing about the magnetite, though, is that it, uh, it's black slash dark gray. 
So it really would blend into this. Oh man, lithium here. Oh wow, it was like right in front of me. <laughs> Didn't see that, I guess, huh? Another lithium. I'm like, I'll definitely grab as much lithium as, uh... Let's see, where is this one at? Is it below me? Oh, yep, there it is right there. Oh, well, this isn't the one I was detecting, but I'll still grab it. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Yeah, see, it's really hard because of how dark everything here. Oh, which way? This way? I don't know how much more lithium I want to get. Let's see. Ah, now I'm out of range. Yeah, let me just switch this over to, uh, this diamond, metal salvage, gel sack, nickel ore. We haven't used nickel for anything yet, so, uh, yeah, here we go. We're on magnetite right now. Nothing's getting picked up for magnetite, unfortunately, and there are those flowering spots. I should probably spread those out, honestly. Kind of lights up the area, which is pretty good. But, uh, I don't know, maybe we might have to go a little bit deeper over here. And, uh, hopefully we'll actually find some of this magnetite. I, I, I if it's even in here. I know there's that one, uh, iceberg I mentioned earlier that I do want to go hopefully find. Or at least, like, go under or whatever, uh, I'm supposed to be doing in that area. Let's see. This one. I, did, I guess I'll just swim. I'm like, we have pretty good oxygen. We have the ultra high capacity tank now for what, like three or four minutes or something uh, of oxygen. So not really that big of a deal. Another uh, lithium right here. There's plenty of lithium, plenty of rubies, plenty of uh, diamonds down here, but no magnetite, which sucks because it, ca it kind of blends in with everything else around here. You, you know, with all the other resources we're finding, you think you'd find magnetite down here as well, but no, it really must be one of those uh, like deep down sort of resources that are like near the lava like I kind of mentioned earlier. Yeah, I'm not finding it right now. There's another lithium, which is good. I think any of the lithium that we have near our base, which is a pretty good amount, I might have already grabbed that. So I, it'll, it'll definitely help out to grab these that are here just in case I do run out. I know we have a lot of ruby. We mined like two or three giant ruby things back at the, uh, the mining area near uh, Delta Station. Whatever that was called. Kappa, Kappa mining facility or something like that. So we, we've already gotten a lot of uh, ruby that away, so I don't think I need to grab any here. I might grab a diamond or two, just because uh, we do need, like I said earlier, like four or something diamonds. There you go, and uh, uh, for that glass large room or whatever you want to call it there. So that'll definitely help out, but I, I guess we'll just continue on over here. And uh, oh, yeah, look at this. I forgot how bit, how the map looked on this thing. It's kind of crazy. Like you look like the heckin throat of the volcano. The throat of the volcano. <laughs> Can't speak. Either way, I guess we'll skiddly don dad run out of here. We have enough purple to, to get out of here? I hope so. I'm going to hopefully uh, I'm going to go this way. If we don't have enough. Oh, I think we do, actually. Uh, seems like the uh, momentum oh, kind of propelled us there, which is good. We don't have any uh, offensive things for the... Uh, well, that's a titanium right there. We don't have anything to kind of attack anything with with the prawn suit, unfortunately. We, we have to use the sea truck for that. So if that giant leviathan guy comes down here again... We'll definitely uh, be very vulnerable to that, unfortunately. Now, I don't know if that's the... the not the volcano, the uh, the iceberg that that guy was talking about like two or three episodes ago by now. I kind of want to swim up and see if that's it. I'm like, there is... Uh, yeah, there was an iceberg that was... Oh, whoa. Oh, nice. There was an iceberg across the street. I guess you could describe it as... <laughs> across the street from uh, Margaret's greenhouse area. I did want to check that out, and I never did, so... Might want to look into that. Can I fit the... Yeah, I can fit the trub nuts in there. Perfect. I'll keep them. I'll keep at least one on me. And I'll put, uh, I'll put the diamonds... What in the world? There you go, put all that up. Put the lithium up. There you go, nice. And I think we're good to go. Alright, let's drink some of the water, reclaimed water and whatnot. There you go. And food? Uh, I guess I... Yeah, I'll get a shrub nut. There you go, not bad. Uh, we still have an emergency food right there, which is good. And uh, of course, we have a lot of food here in the form of these fish that we captured. And it sounds like we picked up another one right there. Or at least another one swam into us or something, right? So either way... Don't know if this is the uh, the iceberg they were talking about. I don't even know where I necessarily am. I do know... Oh, yeah, and then I wanted to go over there to the Omega. Was that what it was? I think it was. I think that was the Omega symbol. There's Margaret's greenhouse. Is this it? I don't know. Because I think they said something about it being, like, on, on the underside of an iceberg. So I'll look. But it'd be... Oh, whoa! That's interesting. It just... little piece just broke off right there. I don't know. It'd be kind of weird to see. I'm like, at least on the... Ooh! At least on this, it's uh, magnetized black, so it would stick out like a sore thumb. Oh! Seems like I actually did find something here, you guys. I don't know if this actually is the iceberg or if this is just a nothing right here, but... I'm going to go out and go and go see what this is all about right here. Let's see, uh... How do I get rid of that, Matt? Here we go. Actually, you know what? Do I want to keep that? 
Like, we can kind of see the insides of this uh, iceberg here, which is kind of interesting. I think. I don't know. Wait, no, this just goes... Okay, so it just goes underneath again. Yeah, I think this might just be nothing then, if this is the case. Which is kind of interesting that it has this, like, formation. Okay, so that's where the sea truck is. Where am I? Yeah. See, it's just, like, random shapes or whatever here. It doesn't actually go anywhere, I don't think. I'm getting so disoriented. I don't know where I am and where I've... Oh, oh that's that whale guy that we rode. Yeah. Oh, there's another iceberg. That I, I'm like, I don't know. It might be that iceberg that guy was talking about. There's so many gigantic icebergs that it's hard to keep track, so... Where did I... Okay, so there's that. Oh, jeez. Loud screech right there. It sounded like I can wail or something crazy. Is this outside again? Yeah, this is outside again. Just trying to cover, like, every possible path. There's a weird... Not shadow, but like a light glare or whatever. Yeah, here's another path here. And uh, I don't think we can go up anymore, can we? Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, that's the light from my sea truck there. Man, I thought I was onto something here. I guess not. Yeah, it's just random tunnels here. It might... I'd watch. I'm going to get comments saying, Oh, you actually missed it. That is indeed the iceberg. And you actually missed it. But I'm like, there's Margaret's iceberg there. There's a giant iceberg here. I definitely want to go to the one... I don't think that's the one I was thinking of. That was across the street, quote-unquote, <laughs> from Margaret's iceberg. But uh, I'll still adventure around it nonetheless. Guess I'll get back inside the sea tray. Get back inside the train. We're at about half uh, oxygen right now, anyways. So, uh, oh, and by the way, hold on. Do I have a beacon? Like, if I come across anything interesting, do I even have a beacon to place down? I do not. How do you get a beacon? I think it's titanium and, like, one copper, right? How do you get that again? Yeah, copper and titanium. Oh, we should be able to do that. Copper and titanium. I don't think we have titanium there. Okay, well, not that big of a deal. Titanium, super duper common. Should be able to find that. We have tons of copper, especially because it just mined a bunch of it right there. But, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess this is nothing. Unless it's on the top of this thing. Oh, just crash into something right there. I don't know what. <laughs> what is this? Is this actually the island I was thinking of? I don't know. Oh, it might. Yeah, I, I think it actually might be. Hold on. So there's Margaret's greenhouse there. There's another iceberg right there, too, by the way. Golly, there's a lot. Oh, there's, like, plants growing off this one, though. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Is this something I could... And by the way, yeah, let me get rid of those, uh, those pin things that we already have. So we already have the jukebox. Let's go down here. Get rid of the jukebox. And I think that's pretty much it. I think... Oh, God, whoops. Hit the wrong button right there. Kind of interested in what this stuff is right here, though. Can I, can I, uh, maybe use that stuff for crafting something, perhaps? Definitely should see if I can scan this. Let's see. Unless I've already scanned it. Which I still need to... I need to, I have a lot of catch up to do, you guys, I know. I need to do that heckin' reading through the PDA episode where I just spend like an entire literal episode reading through a bunch of heckin' entries inside of the PDA to see if, uh, see if we can learn some more stuff about everything around here. But for right now, I'm just swimming around, seeing if I could find anything else of interest here, and, uh, well, I don't know, well, we saw one of these break off earlier, I wonder what happens if I crash into it. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I guess that's, that explains it. It also breaks off, so that's cool. Now, if I go underneath, is there a way into this from here? I don't know. Oh, man, I don't know if we took damage from me crashing into that. I'd probably be careful, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. And there are, like, sharks thing, you know, sharks and stuff over there, squid sharks and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's an, end, an under underside entrance into this. But I do want to go into Margaret's Greenhouse, or, uh, you know, go across from Margaret's Greenhouse Island, Iceberg, whatever you want to call it. Because it looked like there was something over there, but at the same time, like, like it looked like artificial light. It might have just been like the moonlight reflecting off of the ice. Because we saw on Margaret's actual iceberg, we saw a similar like glare that kind of looked like the uh, artificial light, which I think is actually... Yeah, see that on top left? Looks like green up there. See, this is it right here. I definitely want to see if... Uh... And what is that thing? Did we ever skip? What is that? I feel like we did. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get close enough to that thing to scan it or anything like that, but uh, I guess I'll just kind of park it here-ish. Here, yep. See if we can actually find anything on this island. It is nine times, so of course, uh... Oh, do we even... Ah. Well, we do have the coffee uh, thermoses, so that's good. If, we, if we're getting really, really cold, we do have those thermoses. We'll be able to use those to, to get some warmth back, but... I guess we'll just adventure around here, see if we can find anything, you guys. 
Oof. I don't know, maybe maybe coming here during the night. I'm like, it is pretty I can creepy coming. Oh, there's a creature right there. It's pretty creepy and ominous. Foggy and mysterious. And of course my coldness is my 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 warmth is dropping like Agon Rock. Hopefully I could find some of those thermal peppers or whatever around here. But I do have those thermoses on me if I do need them. Ah, I don't know. I definitely probably should have come here during the daytime. But up here is where that artificial light was. Oh, no, never mind. It, it, I the artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Ooh, okay, well, let's scan it. Let me get a thermos going first, though. Consume, and let's scan it. Uh, architect, artifact. Let's see what this is. Satellite, ooh. Uh, can we read that? Technology acquired. Oh, we got the ion battery, finally. Uh, I forgot what we needed that for. And the ion power cell. Okay, satellite. This satellite bears the clear markings of the architect civilization. It appears to have crash landed, though its structural integrity remains surprisingly intact. The satellite's internal design indicates that it's likely been used for long-range data transmission. The data transmission node in the storage housing has been long or has long been corrupted by exposure to the elements. Yeah, sounds like they had like a an orbital satellite or something like that in space, and then eventually crashed down into the heckin' ice here. Let's get another one of those uh, thermoses going. I, it sucks that I'm going to be using both of them at the same time here, but hey, we already got some good adventuring going on here, you guys. So that's good. I don't know how this... Where is this light actually coming from, though? Wait. Oh, pick up snow. I feel like there's an ion... Because we just got an ion battery uh, blueprint right there. Is there an ion cube here somewhere? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Ah, I don't think so, you guys. I think I th we might have to come back here a little bit later, especially when it's not like it's storming like this. Ah, but how do I get out of here? It's so... Ah, man. Go down this? There's like... Hypothermia imminent. I know, I know, I know! There's like zero visibility. Just get down into the heckin' water! Ah, four! Oh my gosh, I almost got hypothermia. Oh, stay into the water to warm up. Such a crazy thing. Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's see. Uh, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in the sea truck. There you go. Oh, it's flooded? What? Oh, wait, what? Wait, hold on. I think this is a glitch. Yeah, because we have... We have oxygen here, right? Pretty sure. Oh, wait, the visibility's back now. Man! Ah, well, at least we got a little bit of, uh, information there. Really glad that I went there, though. Because, of course, we got the heckin'... Oh, maybe... Oh, is this it right here? Oh, wait, no. I don't think so. Why am I still, like, frozen right now? Like, I'm in a warm... I'm inside of my sea truck. You can hear my character, like, breathing heavily, trying to get, like, warm and whatnot. Is this... Oh, I, oh, I don't know. It seems like it just passes through it. Yeah. I don't think that... Yeah, it's not like a secret underside entrance, right? That, anything like that. And, like, I, I think we... Oh, jeez, I'm crashing. I think we already tried to see if there were, uh... Underside entrances into this, like, all the way down there. But that's just a random hole there. Speaking of such, there's a heckin' Titan hole fish. <laughs> Now, hold on. Where have we been? And where have we not been? I don't know about you guys. That kind of looked like a crashed ship there for a minute. That's kind of weird. Wouldn't be surprised if there's something hidden inside there. We're going to go and look all around this, see if we could find anything. Maybe, you know what, let's go on to this side now. Hopefully that storm that was going on on uh, land has subsided. Because I do want to, uh... Nope! Zero visibility there. <laughs> well, that's terrible. Man. Okay, so that's the base. Which, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, the visibility is just terrible. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, <laughs> oh, I'm crashing into heck and everything. <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure out, like, where things are and whatnot, but I'm just having zero luck right now. So, that's Market Screen House there. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not finding this magnetite thing. I kind of want to go look up and see, like, where magnetite locations are. Just because I'm, I'm having trouble finding it on my own. Like, we haven't even seen, like, I, I never even got, like, one random magnetite. So I have a, like kind of an idea where it is. We, I, I just need to figure out a general idea of where to find it, <laughs> and that'll help me out quite a bit. But uh, at the same time, I like I'm, I'm hesitant to do that because it's it's fun trying to find things on your own, you know. But at the same time, I don't want to waste too much of your time, you guys. So yeah, you know what? Let, let me just adventure around here. Keep looking underneath these like icebergs. See if I could find it. Oh, hold on. See if I could find anything. If I do find anything, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Was oh, this the one that we were already inside? Oh. 
Yeah, I think that just passes through. I don't think there's like an entrance like on the underside there, unfortunately. But, you know, if, if I find anything, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And uh, this is Margaret screen. I guess I'll look on the underside of this, but I don't, I don't know if there's going to be anything actually under this. Actually, isn't this the one we already looked at? Yeah, that's the one with a little, uh, yeah, we already looked at under the side of that. Hmm. Yeah, well, either way, let me, let me look around on these underside of these icebergs like that guy suggested I do. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit, and uh, hopefully I can find something. Alright guys, I am back. And I looked it up, and apparently down here, actually, where the cotton anemones and, and whatever else are down here, apparently this is where you could actually find some magnetite. Ooh, and there's a giant thing of titanium right there. By the way, yeah, I found a uh, aquarium module, like, uh, part, or whatever you want to describe it as. Uh, scanned it, got a little bit of titanium, so we do have a... Oh, jeez, oh, oh, just scratching into some. <laughs> we do have the ability to make a beacon now, so... Uh, man, I'm still... I just, there we go, jeez. Let's go here, let's make a beacon. Uh, boom, there we go. In case we've come across anything interesting here in the future, we'll be able to place that down. Know where it, uh, know where it is. Oh, I can place two of them, actually. Ooh, I'll get that. Uh, actually, you know what? I might place one here. Because it took me a little while to try and find this area where the, uh, the big, like, floating rock is. It's, like, suspended by, like, little kelp braids or whatever. I don't, I don't know how to describe it as that. Uh, but, uh, uh, let's grab a little bit of quartz. Yeah, look at all the quartz I have, by the way. It's a lot. Let's get that all out of there. That way, uh, we'll be able to pick up Actually, you know what? Do I even need this? Because I want to check on the, uh... I don't know. I want to check on that resource finder, mod, uh, whatever it's called. I don't know. Tracker. <laughs> I want to check that thing to try and find, uh, here, yeah, I'll, put, I'll, I'll put all that up there. Yeah. I want to I hopefully find some with this limestone chunk. Actually, let's go this way. Oh, magnetite. Let's see if we find a magnetite using this. There's some quartz right there. Don't need that. Look at these giant fish right here. There's a uh, titanium. Well, those aren't giant fish. It's just a school of fish. A lot more quartz right there. Another quartz there. I'm going to run. Oh, is that that thing? That's a giant thing of gold right there. Holy heck. Yep, gold. Amazing. Yeah, let me swim around here. I looked it up on the wiki. Apparently, this biome actually has magnetite. So, I'm like, I trust in the wiki. I don't know if it's actually... I mean, it might actually just be like really rare down here actually now that I think about it. I don't know if it'd be on the sea floor actually like on the walls or anything like that over here actually. Wait, what in the world was this? Oh, 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 no, 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 no! What is happening? What in the world? There's one of those things like hypnotizing me here. Ah, oh, it's that thing right there. Yeah, I think, doesn't it like hypnotize you to make it come towards you or something like that? I think so. Loot plant. Let's see, there you go. I guess I could read that real quick. That That's something I'm trying to do more often. Let's get to a nice safe area. It's like right after we scan something, let's read it. Loop plant. This terrestrial plant features two thick red stalks that intertwine around a centralized green bulb. A series of thin yellow rings grow around the bulb in a decentralized orbit. What in the world? It's like a weird, like, planet plant. <laughs> I guess you could describe it as it's interesting. Is there any way, uh, do I get anything out of it? No. I'm like, it didn't say anything in the description right there. I was just kind of checking. But yeah, I'm like, I'm not seeing any magnetite right now showing up on the, uh, little, little, little scanner doohickey thing here. I don't think it comes in any of these. I think it just sits out in the open. A little bit of silver. I'll grab that. I think we need silver for some. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that actually was silver right there. Do we actually get silver? Oh, we did. Okay, that's good. I'll get more. Oh, that was titanium. Eh, not that big of a deal. Yeah, let me. Oh, whoa, whoa! I was just about to say I'm going to pause. But it's beeping at me saying, oh, man, there's uranium right here. I didn't even notice this. Where is it? Oh, it's up. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. We finally have magnetite. Let's scan it, too. Boom. I guess we'll read about this, and then we'll pick it up real quick. Boom. Uh, let's read about the magnetite. Magnetite is an iron oxide valued for its magnetic potential amongst other qualities. It is used in many Federation technologies, including sonar and torpedo systems. Assessment essential for advanced fabrication. Yeah, it's an advanced material for advanced... Oh man, there's nickel right there. Did we ever... Oh, we never scanned nickel either. Interesting. There you go. I oh, mean, we're actually getting somewhat low on food. I might want to, uh, I don't know, go home or something like that and eat. I don't think we have any. Uh, I do have emergency uh, nutrient bar in my inventory in case. Either way, nickel bar or nickel ore. Nickel is a medium hard ductile metal used extensively in production of strong metal alloys. It has applications throughout the construction industry. Assessment essential for advanced fabrication, just like the magnetite. Now, can I find any more magnetite here? It seemed like it was like on the walls, like I suspected it might be. But like in relatively high up areas, and it did seem like it was in an area where the uranium. Oh. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, man, I don't think. Uh, all right, let's go back. 
don't think we're going to find any there for the Oh, no! What? Whoa, get the heck away! Oh, I don't want to get hypnotized there with my oxygen getting super duper low like this. Let's just get away from that and then get inside. I guess get inside the prawn suit or the sea I don't know. Let's, let's go out there. Ah, come on, come on, come on, go, go. Oh. oh my god, there's one of those snatching up plants like right in front of us. Oh, why in the world did I park that right there? <laughs> of all places I could have parked it. Jeez. Either way, let's, put, uh, let's park it about right here. This should be fine. Golly. Alright, let's drink some of the water we have in our inventory that we're uh, constantly producing. There you go. And I guess we could eat the uh, nutrient block. Do I want to do that right now? Actually, nah. I guess we'll get uh, some of these fish. Boomerang fish. Let's get some of those going and we can get them with the thermal blade. Jeez. Get them with the thermal blade and uh, we'll immediately get some cooked food we can just eat right now. So, uh, let's see. So, drop yes. And then there it is right there. Boomerang fish. Yep. Man! Yep. What in the... There! Wait. Did I get it? There you go, got it. Fine, a heckin' Lee. <laughs> All right, let's eat the cook cooked boomerang. 21 food right there, not bad. See, that's, that's the, uh, that's the utility of having the drop. Of having the, oh man, I uh, drop and, uh, of having the aquarium module. You can pick up a fish, but I guess it makes sense to have a, uh, oh nice. It makes sense to have one of those little, 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 you guys know what, I'm, oh man, I keep picking it up immediately after. It makes sense to have one of those little, little, what is it called? The little thing that like gravitates. Grav trap. It makes sense to have one of those perhaps inside the uh, the sea truck. Oh, did I drop the cooked one? I think I did. Whoops. Cooked. Yes, cooked and cooked. And then we have another one. Oh man, I'm already full on uh, food. Yeah, we're fine on that regard. Golly. That's good. That's good stuff. Uh, more uranium right there. Yeah, you saw how pitch black it looked? I would not be surprised if it's like blending in hardcore and I'm having real hard trouble finding it on my own here. Oh man, if it's in this area, that'd be really good. Because it'll, it'll, it'll stick out a little bit better with all this like white flowery dust or whatever this is inside of here. I don't know. Either way, at least we found one on camera. I might just try and continue finding more of them off camera. Just because at least we know that yes, you can find them here. You got silver there. Perfect. It's copper. We already got a lot of copper earlier. But uh, I'm kind of a... Oh, what was that? Oh... I don't know what that sound was, but it seemed like I could have scanned something here. I'm pretty sure I already scanned these giant, fully grown sea anemone things. Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to just pause the recording. Continue trying to find, I don't know, maybe get up to like 5 magnetite or something like that. Maybe get up to that number. That sounds like a good, nice round number to stop at. I uh, should be able to make a lot of stuff. Oh, oh! Where are we going this way? Should be able to make a lot of stuff if we have 5 magnetite. Oh my gosh, look at how much that blends in right there. Another uh, silver ore right there. Well, the titanium out of that. Not that big a video, but uh, yeah, that magnetite. Oh, right when I was about to say the magnetite is like super duper rare. I think it is. I have a feeling it's it's, it's always going to be. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, that's an argentite thing. That's silver there. Where is it? Oh, my gosh, that blends in hardcore. Yeah, I don't think it's ever going to be on the ground. I think it's always going to be either on the ceilings or on the wall. So that's going to make it that, that much tougher to find this. And of course, the, the dark color of it makes that even harder to find as well. Like if you're just looking on your own, you don't even have this little device here. It makes it almost impossible. I'm going to go around like every wall of every room under here to hopefully find some of that. Mainly sticking to the walls and the ceiling area because it doesn't make sense to do it on, on the ground area. It's not going to detect any down there, I'm sure. So you know what, let, let me keep uh, trying to find more of them. I think we have three in total right now. Let me try and get like two more, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And I guess I'll see you guys back at the, uh, the what do you call it, the Waffle House base. And uh, we can continue making some stuff over there, you know, doing some base upgrades and whatever else we were working on earlier. So let me just try and find two more Magnetite, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back, and I have basically a full inventory right now. I got way more Magnetite than I said I was going to get. Uh, I, I think I have like seven or eight or something like that right now honestly which is pretty good uh, i also want to lay down a beacon here on the side like the entrance of the uh the floating rock or whatever uh that's facing our waffle house here so i'll, I'll place it about like right here ish that way i know okay if i want to come back here maybe get more magnetite maybe get more of the cotton anemones or whatever else that's down there uh we can come back here so what am i going to call this beacon uh cotton uh anemone uh area i guess uh, there you go. I guess that's how I can call it. <laughs> so there you go. 
And I think we just picked up a reclaimed water there because uh, I was waiting for my inventory to get full. But yeah, another thing, once we get back to the base, definitely want to fill up these thermoses all over again. Thankfully, we had those or else I would have heckin' died of hypothermia out in that uh, like crashed satellite area earlier on, right? So that's good. Either way, let's just use these boosters to get back home. We surprisingly have a pretty good amount of energy and uh, even like Citric health after this big old adventure here, honestly. Oh, we'd have a lot less than we have right now. 70% durability with all the hacking crashing we've been doing. Uh-oh. But that sea shark or uh, squid shark was going to come over to here. If he was, I do have my zappers ready to go. All right, I think we're good, though. But there's our bait. Oh, yep, it's starting to load in right now, which is great. Let's just park our uh, sea truck in there, and then I guess we can start making the farm area. Just have to make the big old heckin' room. We have plenty of magnetite, plenty of diamonds, plenty of quartz now, which is great. So, uh, how do I do this? Uh, I guess, yeah, it, it detaches it automatically. Yep, there you go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm, thanks. Yeah, I definitely want to make a few other things that we have pinned there as well. Uh, is the music playing or do I have to manually play it every time I, uh... I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I guess I have to have it. There we go. I just have to play. I can't hear it, though. Oh, yeah. This is like, you can just barely hear this, though. All right. I guess we'll leave it as that. So either way, a uh, lot of magnetite, a lot of quartz, whatever else. Uh, that's titanium, extra titanium, titanium ingots and whatnot. There's a titanium up inside of there. Silver, yes. Put that up inside of there. Lithium, magnetite. Uh, do I want to put that there or do I want to put it over here? Yeah, let's put it over here. It's pretty rare, considering it has to take a while for us to actually get all that, right? A uh, thermosis, let's go put that up over here. Looks like these things are... Oh, man, that music's actually... It's actually kind of loud. I might have to turn that down a little bit. I guess because it was the start of the song, it sounded like it was a little bit quieter than that. But uh, get it back down to there. Yeah, 7%. That should be fine. But yeah, we have Chinese potatoes here. We have those thermal peppers here, which is going to be great for when we do more land exploration and whatnot, right? So, uh, blub, 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 blub. get some of those going. Noise. And how are these, uh, Preston plant? Here we go. Preston's Delight. Let's get a few of these going. Aren't these supposed to be, like, really good? Yeah. Look like human hearts and stuff like that, though. Give you a little bit of water, five water, 15 food, and they take up only one inventory slot. Pff, don't mind if I can do, right? Might as well keep those in my inventory. Uh, so, oh, yeah. And we have a random boomerang fish as well. I guess we can go put that up inside the thing over here. I know I got some comments of you guys saying I could use, uh, I could put plants inside of here, so. Yeah, I know that. Like, I could put shrub nuts inside there, extra potatoes, extra, uh, Preston's Delights and, uh, whatever, the fever pep... pe fever peppers? I could put those inside there as well. Uh, I know that. It it's a heckin' bio reactor or whatever, so it uses anything that's, like, living, uh, to, like, fuel it. So, uh, you know, if we run out of, like, fish or whatever, we could just use plants. And, uh, of course, over here, yeah, we do have... What are these things called again? All these things are fully grown now, which is great. Uh, I forgot what these things were called. Antennae fruit, yeah. How good are these, by the way? Are those decent? Uh, yeah, they give you a pretty good amount of food, and they give you a little bit of health. Nine health, 20 food, five water, not bad at all. And, uh, there's still two slots open right there. I don't know what I can grow there, but, uh, not that big of a deal. Let's actually try and build our base over here now, so. Four, uh, titanium, let's, let's get the enamel glass. I think we only have one enamel glass, and then we need four. To actually get that built so uh yeah one enamel glass there's the glass right there i need to go back to the pr uh prawn suit itself that's detached from the sea truck and i need to repair the sea truck while i'm at it uh but i need to grab a bunch of stuff out of this let's see uh oh yeah i could have uh oh yeah i don't even have the uh i'll have the quantum locker right now i need to go grab the other end of that from the uh from the old base because I, I usually had one in my inventory one at the base then of course i'll be able to just and I know I got some comments of you guys saying you don't even need two of them. You can just keep one in your inventory and then just place it down and uh, access it whenever you want to use it. But yeah, I like having two of them. Either way, and I think it requires like an ion battery or something like that. So it's relatively expensive. I don't, I don't really want to make one of those things when I can just go back to the other base and uh, get that one that's already made, right? Either way, so we have three uh, regular glass right there. What else do we need? We need lithium and diamonds, I believe. And I think it'll... It's either two lithium or something, I forget. Uh, but I can put up all the quartz now that we have all that crafted. There you go. Let's get more lithium here. Do we have more lithium? How much do we have? We have two lithium there. Two, three. Okay. I think we have enough of them. I think it's just one diamond. I think it's two lithium. Three. There you go. Two lithium, one diamond. Wait, how do you... How, wait, how, how do you get it again? Oh, it's lead, not lithium. Man! Oh, man. We might not have enough then. Ah, I must have misremembered or misinterpreted or something. I don't know. I need to get a bunch of lead now. Man! Nah. Let's see. What else can I make right now, though? Well, we have the magnetite, so we could actually get the uh, the scanner room upgraded, which is good. We can get the uh, the scanner 
speed upgrade or whatever that is right there. Gold and silver. Thankfully, I got some of the silver there. So gold and silver. And get that speed upgrade. Where's that going? Oh, yes, yeah, at the upgrade station. So I have to. Oh, what in the world? There's like lyrics going on right now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear that. Either way. So how do I get the upgrade station oh, mo or modification station? Yeah, see, we need lead still, <laughs> man. Or we could use, I guess we could use the uh, the upgrade or uh, what's that thing? That thing right there at the top left, vehicle upgrade console. That's what well, I think we could. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We could use the one that's built into the scanner room, right? It has its own fabricator. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yep, boom, there it is right there. Noise. I was wondering, like, I'm like, I, I could probably use the modification station for that. Uh, but thankfully, I didn't need to. So, boom, there you go. So, we have that. Enhances the speed of the scanner room functionality. And let's go make a uh, a chip thing right there. Was that two two silver and then gold and then uh, coral? So, one gold, two silver, and the table coral. I think it's just one. It might be two, but uh, I'll, I'll grab. Oh, I grab two? I did grab two. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can get the uh, advanced chip or whatever that, or computer chip. It's a wiring kit. Oh, man, it doesn't even require the wiring kit. Ooh, I must have misinterpreted that. Misremembered, whatever. Either way, uh, there you go. Oh, I already have it. Whoa, man. <laughs> I keep glossing over everything. The only thing I don't have is, of course, the magnetite, which we have now. So uh, that's in the this one. The more rare stuff. So there you go. So we make that not there. We go back to the scanner rooms fabricator. We make that. And I guess we could actually test out. Whoops. We could actually test this thing out. If I remember correctly, streams data from the scanner rooms, uh, scanner rooms to the HUD. If I remember correctly, if you're looking for something, with the scanner room, it will actually show it in, in the actual game instead of like this little virtual map thing right here. So it's going to be really, really helpful for us to find uh, materials. And we have a distance upgrade or something like that, too. So that's going to be really helpful, too. Why can't I find where this upgrade went? Did I even make it there? What I did. What happened to it? Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Scanner room. Uh, oh, it looks like a little chip. That's why. Hold on. Where is that? I'm blind as a can bat. I don't see it here. These are all glass, silver, copper, flashlight. Yeah, it looks like a little computer chip with like little, 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 like signals coming out of it. And I don't see it here. See, that's what it looks like right there. We just made it. It's gone. Do I have to make another one of those? Really? Oh, that sucks. Did it really glitch out right there? I need to look at my footage and see what happened there. I'm pretty sure we just made that, but I guess not. Let's get another computer chip. I guess we get another magnetite. Glad that I made a few of those. Let's see, magnetite. Yeah, see, there's a computer chip. I can see that immediately, and you, you saw right there, it flashes and glows, like, it, because we just made it as a new item. So, fabricator. Make the HUD chip. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Yep, it puts it right here. Yeah, I forgot. It, it goes into your inventory. Yeah. Probably getting comments about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. I thought I had to put it over here. This is this is an upgrade for the scanner room itself. This was technically an upgrade for myself. For my HUD, that is. So, uh, let's see. How can I test this thing out? If I want to look for... And I bet if I wanted to find... Let's try and find lead. Can we find lead with this? We might not have... Yeah. I don't think there's lead in this area, so it's not showing up here, unfortunately. Man. Glow whale. Argentite. Uh, creature egg. Metal salvage. So, I guess if I want metal salvage, of course, that'd be really good for uh, getting a lot of titanium... And then uh, lithium there, we already have that. Man. And of course, we can get a disc, or uh, what do you call it here? Some sort of upgrade to get a, where is that? Uh, range upgrade. Copper, oh, oh man, let's get that. Copper and magnetite. Let's get one of those. And uh, I, I do know there is that one waste bin, or what, what is it called? There's something that you could put things inside of, where it breaks them back down. So that's where we could put the uh, extra scanner room HUD chip inside of a, once we actually make one of those. I think it required one of those ion battery things. So hold on. Let's go to this. Let's go to the uh, builder tool. Habitat builder. Pull this up. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Where is it? Here it is right here. Recyclotron, yes. So ion cube and titanium ingot. I guess we'd actually, now that we, we kind of have, kind of have an excuse to make that. Golly. Where's the, uh, here you go, ion cube. And oh man, there's an extra beacon there. I don't know why I put that up. Uh, extra water things, put those up there. That's fine. And some of these things here. Like this flowering sport. Sure, put that up right there. So let's try and make the recyclotron. Uh, I guess we could put it like over here, or maybe like right here. Yeah, you know, if I accidentally make something, it definitely makes sense to have it like right here. So there you go, Recyclotron. This hybrid technology allows for the recycling of natural resource components without rinsing and sorting them into bits first. Oh, that's good. So I don't have to be like, oh man, oh, whoops. There you go. 
I don't have to be like, okay, here's trash and here's recyclables or whatever. So, how does this work? Uh, okay, just put the scanner room HUD chip there. And then we get back a computer chip and magnetite. And I could probably break down, yep, I could break down the computer chip to get the cable coral sample and blah 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 back. Interesting. But I believe we had a computer chip for something else anyways, so I kind of want to keep that. Just in case we want to use that for something, uh, old antenna for- I guess I could eat that. There you go, I'll, I'll eat these Preston's Delights too before they get even worse. So there you go, we have some pretty good uh, upgrades going on right now, you guys.